In this video, I want to go over the slope on an exterior stairway that would allow water to drain off safely. And you would need to verify with your local building department as to whether or not you need it, because I've seen plenty of concrete stairways built without a slope. And I'm guessing this one doesn't have a slope either because we have a water puddle here that looks like it's drying up and it's not creating a big problem for the stairs. However, we don't know how much water is coming down the stairway, if any, when it is raining. So I just wanted to point that out. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that if the steps are level, and I mean perfectly level, then you're not going to have any water pooling up on them. However, that doesn't mean over time that the stairway can't move a little bit and even allow the steps to slope backwards or even allow the stairs to slope into a variety of different directions. So again, if each step is perfectly level in both directions and perfectly flat, which is going to be extremely difficult to do with concrete then you shouldn't have any water pooling up on the steps as long as it can drain off of the sides or the front. So if you are going to build your concrete steps, then try to get them as flat and level in all directions as you possibly can. If not, then you are allowed to slope the steps in this direction here. You're not allowed to slope it in this direction here. This needs to be level. And the maximum you're allowed to slope this is a quarter of an inch per foot or one unit for every 48 units, which is actually what the building code says. And one unit could be 48 inches in length and then dropping one inch. So we're dealing with units that are an inch. And if we're dealing with 12 inches or one foot, we're gonna be dealing with one quarter of an inch or one quarter of that unit. And some people don't think it's that big of a deal. However, I just had a complaint from someone who said that their contractor sloped their steps. They did not tell me how much of a slope was in the steps, but I can tell you that walking up the steps, it won't seem like that big of a deal. But walking down the steps, it seems like it wants to push you forward and force you to fall down the stairway, even at a quarter of an inch per foot. And this could end up creating a safety problem. So are you going to solve one problem by allowing the water to drain down the stairway, yet creating another potential problem if someone was to fall because of the sloped steps? And I really don't have a good answer to this question. If you're worried about water drainage, you could also be worrying about soil erosion and other problems. But I can tell you this. Whether or not you choose to slope your steps, make sure that you install handrails and guardrails if needed to provide users of the stairway with something to hold on to that just might prevent them from falling and getting injured. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.